you know, the Biden cages. And we have this segment on the Biden cages. Ted Cruz lights up AOC and the Democrats on the Senate floor. He's speaking on the Senate floor about what's happening in Del Rio, Texas. And we have three clips on this. And we're going to play this because Ted Cruz is a terrific orator. Orator, He is, really is. He speaks really well. There's no doubt about it. It's very articulate. And what he's speaking to goes to what is happening, not just across the border in Mexico and in Central America with the cartels, but also what we're bringing into the United States because of a lack of vetting, okay? A lack of vetting. So first up, here's Ted Cruz lighting it up on the Senate floor. We have that first clip and here it is. I'll tell you, I've been to the border. I've been to the Biden cages. For four years, Democrats went on and on and on. The corrupt corporate media went on and on and on about kids in cages. You couldn't turn on the evening news without hearing kids in cages. What they didn't tell you is Barack Obama built those cages, and today under Joe Biden, the cages are bigger, and they're more full than they were before. Mr. President, every Democrat who stood up and lamented kids in cages. In the House of Representatives, Representative Ocasio-Cortez has a famous photo of her grasping her head by the kids in cages. Well, I'm going to give a simple challenge for Representative Ocasio-Cortez and for every Democrat in this body. Go see the Biden cages. Yeah, go see the Biden cages. Will they see the Biden cages? Oh, no, of course they won't see the Biden cages. And it's not just because of the narrative podcast listeners, which, of course, you all know already. But it's because there would be a nexus between Democrats and the rise in crime in the United States, including not just violent crime, but the crime of illegal drugs like fentanyl killing thousands and thousands of Americans, which is coming across the border. We're not vetting these individuals. We don't know who they are. And Ted Cruz does a great job of not just calling out the hypocrisy, but also being more specific about what's happening at the border because he is a United States senator from the state of Texas, and it is his responsibility to find out what's going on and to try to fix it. So how about Kamala? Ted Cruz says, we have that clip. Here it is. Why does Kamala Harris, who's supposed to be the border czar, she's supposed to be in charge of this. Why won't she go to the Rio Grande Valley? Because if she went, the TV cameras would come and would show the Biden cages. And the Democrats are counting on the corrupt corporate media to suddenly say nothing to see here. 15,000 Haitians under a bridge in Del Rio, nothing to see here. Anyone want to know what Joe Biden's favorite ice cream flavor is? That's the news. <laughs> exactly. I've actually spoken to that before this podcast. So I think it's pretty cool that uh, Cruz brought that up on the Senate floor. You know, the idea that the United States media is not interested in what's happening really in the United States and on its border and elsewhere and internationally, but they want to know what kind of ice cream Joe Biden bought at the ice cream store. And that's how dummy down we are. You want to know how dummy down education is across this country, in particular public education? It's so dummy down that we actually have a media that has figured out that there's a significant part of our co- population that will be redirected when you start talking about the flavor of ice cream that the president of the United States likes. And you go, oh, my God, that's so cool. I like chocolate, too. Although I think Biden likes vanilla or I know what he did. I think he did both because he's a politician, right? I like the swirl, you know, vanilla and chocolate. Well, here's Ted Cruz on clip number three talking about the media and other atrocities that are happening at the border, not by the border agents. Of course not. They're happening by the cartels and by a lot of the bad people who are in these migrant caravans. Here is the clip. Never mind 1.2 million illegal immigrants. Never mind when I took 19 senators down to the border, we went out on the river and saw a man floating dead in the river who died trying to cross illegally. 
Never mind the South Texas farmers and ranchers, the moms who told me, I won't let my teenage kids go out on our ranch without being armed with a loaded firearm. Because there's so many human traffickers and narcotics traffickers that it's dangerous for them to go out on their own ranch. Yeah, and remember that Beto O'Rourke wants to run for governor of Texas, and one of his plat part of his platform is to disarm the citizens of Texas. Can you imagine disarming the citizens of Texas, especially disarming the citizens of Texas who also live on the border? I mean. I don't know why anyone at this particular point in time in the state of Texas would vote for a Democrat. I don't know why anyone in the United States of America at this particular point in time in seeing the way the country is being run would vote for a Democrat. And we're actually going to talk about that in a bit of time when we get to the Biden dumpster fire. But we're not quite there yet. So Ted Cruz, he lit up the Senate floor with those three clips and then went on, by the way, podcast listeners, to talk about how many of the migrants crossing the border have debts that they owe the cartels. So they paid the cartels to be able to cross over Mexican territory and into Del Rio, Texas. But the cartels, when they got them like three fourths of the way to the United States, said, "Ah, you know that two thousand dollars you gave us? We actually want another $5,000. And then, of course, the migrant, you know, the illegal, illegal immigrant, got to get that clear, by the way, illegal immigrant is saying, well, I don't have $5,000 to give you all the money I have. And that's when the cartel says, well, when we get you across the border, we need you to send us the $5,000 in payments over a period of time once you get a job in the United States of America. In other words, we have indentured servants coming to the United States who are, who are illegal, who owe the cartels. And of course, the cartels are going to leverage that to get these individuals to do what? To help them sell and smuggle drugs into the United States. So Cruz talked about all of those issues and all of the human trafficking that's going on as well. On the way, we don't vet these individuals. I have no doubt that some of these people are coming here for asylum and it's legitimate. And I have no doubt that most are not. Most are not. But one thing's for sure that they all have in common. They're all coming here illegally. So good for Ted Cruz for lighting up the Democrats on the Senate floor over something that is so hypocritical, namely that we don't have a media to report anything that's happening in the United States anymore, unless it's about the kind of ice cream that Joe Biden is going to eat.